Come on out. The water's warm. Just so you know, I don't do blowjobs. You pee out of that thing. Baby's <laughs> weed sucks. This is just dirt. Look at all these twigs. Yeah, I could give you a gummy this big that has 100 times more weed than this. Totally Killer is a 2023 comedy horror movie. Directed by Nanachka Khan, it stars Kiernan Shipka, Olivia Holt, and Julie Bowen. When the Sweet 16 killer returns 35 years after his first murder spree to claim another victim, 17-year-old Jamie accidentally travels back to 1987, determined to stop the killer before he can start. I'd like to report a crime that hasn't happened yet. Have you seen the movie Back to the Future? Basically, I'm living that movie right now, which is how I know there's going to be a murder tonight. <laughs> Hate time travel movies. They never make any sense. So this is a really lighthearted, very, very fun movie. In a lot of ways, it's a kind of movie along the lines of Happy Death Day. It's just one of those that you don't take too serious, you just have a blast with. It really is like if you were to take the movie Scream and Back to the Future and blend them together. It's just this wild scenario that plays out, but I thought it was done really well. Now, as someone that's a little bit older, I'm not gonna say the way the 80s are portrayed in this is exactly spot on. It's more of kind of a, a caricature of what people, younger people anyway, think of the 80s as. So if you're older and kind of grumpy, and you want to pick this movie apart because of things like that, you probably won't enjoy it too much. And if you want something super scary and crazy, you might not dig it either because it is lighthearted. It is fun. It isn't anything really that serious. It's definitely a comedy horror movie, not just a horror movie. But it does have some fun gore and kills and just in general, a really well done little film. Kiernan Shipka really kills it in this. She's definitely the star of the show, so to speak, because She's just got so much charm to her and fun. Just, you know, the way she does things, her mannerisms, her comedic timing is great. Just in general, she's a pleasure to watch in this movie. I really enjoyed her on the Sabrina series, the Sabrina remake over on Netflix. I think it ran like five seasons. I'm not sure if I've watched every bit of it, but I definitely watched a couple seasons of it and really enjoyed that show too. She's just got a lot of charisma and is very likable. But the whole cast here, I thought do a great job. It's just a fun kind of movie. It's one of those that I think is great for this time of year because it does have a little Halloween sprinkled in as well, but it's really bright and colorful and fast paced. It's not something that's gonna slog down and really take a lot of your time. It's one of those quick 90 minute kind of deals where it's just fun. It's just about having a great time with some popcorn, maybe some candy kind of deal. I do wish this had got a theatrical run. I do think it would have done pretty good in a theater, to be honest, because it's a really well put together little movie. But with that being said, I also get that it's not a super complex movie. It's not a movie that I think is going to really be a classic down the road. It's one that you're going to enjoy and have fun with, especially if you're someone that enjoys movies like I do, like Happy Death Day. It also reminded me a lot of Freaky. So it's like those kind of movies. And if those kind of movies are generally something you're into, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. The soundtrack is great. Just the color design, the style, the fashion, everything is dialed up. Like I said, it feels almost more like a caricature of the 80s, but it's put together in a way that's just very entertaining to watch. And I love how there was a lot of nods, including a straight up joke about Back to the Future, because it really leans into that. There's a lot of, you know, time paradox things that really call back to that. And I found that to be a lot of fun too, because I love Back to the Future. And I'm not saying that this is a Back to the Future level of a movie, it's not. You know, to be honest, Back to the Future is one of the most perfect movies ever made, in my opinion. But I do think that th it just gave it some charm. Just this movie in general has charm. It's quick paced with some fun humor. It's campy enough. It knows what it's trying to do. It knows what it is. It's not trying to be an all time great kind of horror movie. It's just meant to entertain you and something to have fun with. So if you haven't checked it out, I definitely think it's worth your time. I watched it a couple weeks ago, but I've just been so swamped with trying to cover as many 
new horror movies and new horror things as I possibly could. I wish that they would release more of these throughout the year and that we wouldn't just get such a huge crazy log jam this time of year because I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat. Even though you're not trying to cover it on a channel, you're still trying to be in the know and up to speed and, and catch everything that's going on so that it's not spoiled for you and just so that you're up to speed on what all is going down. And so it's like you just have this huge gluttony of awesome content to watch right now, which is great. But then the rest of the year, it's super lean. And then you have weird things like this week where all this stuff came out in the last two weeks. And then here we are, middle of October, and there's no new horror movies coming to theaters this weekend. Next week, we have Five Nights at Freddy, which I am gonna cover and am looking forward to. But I just am blown away that here we are in the middle of October with all these horror movies that just came out and yet nothing this weekend. It just blows my mind. How can you be basically a little over a week away from Halloween and have no new movies? Yeah, I don't get it. I just really don't understand. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I figured this week, since there's not anything else coming out, I would talk about this little gem. And I do think it's a little gem. I think it's a lot of fun. And it really is worth your time, especially because if you have Amazon Prime, it's free to watch with an Amazon Prime membership over there. So, and if you don't have a Prime membership, I believe you can still rent it from a few places like, you know, YouTube or Apple or whatever for a few bucks. So either way, it's not a game changer. So you don't go into this expecting it to be one of your top movies of the year. It's not that kind of thing. It's definitely a fun, light, kind of popcorn horror movie that's really just about having a great time with. But I really do think you'll have fun with it. So definitely give it a shot if it sounds like something you're into. Maybe if she did do blowjobs, she'd still be alive. Yeah, let's not make that the lesson. But that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week, I also wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew to you guys over on patreon and to the channel members over here you guys absolutely mean the world to me and if you would like to help support this channel there's a link to patreon down in the description or if you want to become a channel member and help support the channel that way there's a button right down there that says join but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys Horror can be fun! And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my review of Dark Harvest, another great Halloween movie. And I'll see you guys next time!